Right, okie dokie. This is going to be a step-by-step -step instructional for uh, creating a geometric 12-fold rosette. It's the same one. There's a video on my channel where I've done this in freehand, but uh, I think it's quite... Well, a few people have commented that it's hard. There's a, there's a, a part of it with the parallel lines which is really, really hard to follow. Um, and so I've put this together digitally um, so I can zoom in and it should be nice and clear. Um, if it's not obviously just leave me comments and uh, I'll try to um, find a way to, to make it a bit clearer but um, hopefully this one works um, you won't see me drawing it because I've already done that so this is just purely digital um, and it's only for creating the continuous line itself um, and then I'm going to do another video where I, um, I do the interlacing um, and show how that's done in a bit more detail than my other video so uh, yep yeah, let's get cracking what you'll need is a uh, um, a pencil um, and a pair of compasses um, and a ruler and that's it so uh, yeah let's get going so you want to start by drawing a horizontal line and then you want a, a circle um, with its centre on that horizontal line and it, it wants to be around the right scale as you can see here um, so you need a little bit of space on the top and the bottom so now you want to open up your pair of compasses really as wide as possible. The, the wider you do this, um, the more accurate your, your vertical line is going to be. So what we're doing here is we're going to create a, a cross at the top and the bottom and then we're going to link the two crosses and that's going to give us a, 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 a perpendicular line to the, to the horizontal. That will give us a perfect right angle. Um, so if you put your compass on one side, you see where the intersection is there with the red dot and then you scribe a line at the top as shown and then you want to do that again um, at the bottom and then you want to come over to the other side um, to the point marked and do that again and you want to keep your compasses the same diameter as they were before so that's going to give you the two crosses and then you want to join those two crosses with a with a vertical line so that's giving you a a nice right angle cross. So now you want to position your compasses so that they are the same diameter as they were when you started for the first circle and then you want to repeat the circle and then repeat it again on the bottom then on the right side and then on the left side and what's that, what that's done is create um, some more intersections around the circle and you bisected the circle by an equal amount so now you want to link the points as shown running through the centre and you want to do that for each pair of points that you've created So you've now got your original circle split into 12 equal parts. So now you want to draw a square um, from the points shown. So there's the first square. Now you want to take another set of four points and draw another square. And then again you want to take another set of four points as shown and draw another square. Oh, this is a bit of a tricky bit so I'll zoom it in so you want to take a, a measurement with your compasses with the point in the left hand red dot and space it so that it fits to the right hand dot and create a circle there as shown and now you want to find the tangent of that circle and that's shown with a red cross there and open your compasses 
and then create a circle that goes through the centre and hits on that tangent of the, of the smaller circle. So now you want to take each of these points shown and run a line through two pairs of those and through the centre and you want to do that for each set of pairs. So here's the first one, here's the second one and I'm running a line between the two points and the centre. So this is the tricky bit, this is the parallel lines piece. So you need to identify these intersections as shown. It's a bit fiddly but I've tried to zoom in so you can see exactly where they intersect and these are the points that you have to link together with parallel lines. Now between each of the two, so the two at the top, between those two there is a, there's a line. Um, and your two lines will want to be parallel to that one in the middle and that's true of all of these pairs So now we have all the parallel lines put in. Hopefully that was easier than my um, original video. So now we're ready to um, to create the actual continuous line that we're going to work from. All of these construction lines are going to be removed um, at the end, um, apart from these lines that we're about to do. So the ones we're about to do, it's sometimes worth doing it in a different colour. Um, so you can see the, 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 the line that you're going to be working with um, versus the lines that you're going to get rid of. So sometimes I use like a blue pencil um, or something like that. Um, you can use a very, very thin pen um, and it won't show up at the end, but um, it, it can do if, it, if you don't erase it properly. So it's some, probably best to use pencil to make sure that you can get rid of it in the end. So you just want to follow these um, intersections now and put the lines in as I'm showing. The best thing to do here is just take your time, um, double check, triple check your intersections just to make sure that you're not making a mistake. Um, I've made plenty of mistakes on this on this stage. Once you once you have all the construction lines in, it is super confusing. Um, if you pause this video and you just have a good look at where that's going, and then you know, just take your time.
Right, so there we have it. So once you erase the um, the construction lines, you end up with this continuous line, and from here you can start to interlace and fill the um, fill the spaces, add thicker lines, thinner lines, ornamentation. You can tessellate these, but I mean that's a different story altogether. It's quite a lot more work, but um, for another video. But um, yeah, this is your basis for starting to be artistic with this and adding your own um, your own flavour to it um, I've got a video that shows how to add detail and uh, and interlace these I'm going to do another interlacing video with more detail and a bit more explanation on how to go under and over and uh, where to start and um, uh, what, what equipment to use so uh, yeah I hope this was helpful um, if you've got any comments, suggestions, questions get in the comments section and uh, I'll try to get back to you and um, if there's anything really not working with this let me know and uh, I'll try and do another video to clear that up. Alright, thanks again, cheers, bye.